All right, this is an introduction video of how to deal with just about any Rubik's Cube size that you may have. The first one here that you'll see, I have a certain strategy that I'm using. First off, you want to create your centers. And so that's what I'm showing you in this video is that you create your centers by creating like one row at a time. And I found it best easiest to do if you create with the center row. Now this happens to be a nine by nine by nine. And as many of you will know, the beauty of a nine by nine by nine or an odd cube number is that it has a fixed center. So you don't have to memorize, oh, red goes in this position, orange goes in this position, and blues in this position, and yellow is in this position. Because you'll see the center is yellow, the next one is green, the next one is white, I believe. And so what you want to do is, th this is like the really easiest part. It's time consuming with the more cubes that you have. But if you've done the four by four, it's pretty much very similar. And, and in another video, I'll, I'll show you how they're similar because, um, you know, don't be intimidated by the number of tiles that you see. Don't be picking off the stickers. Uh, some of the cubes that I have are stickerless and they're all plastic. So you can't uh, peel off the key in the stickers and stuff. And uh, this thing looks so big, I wouldn't want to... Uh, even try and take it apart but let, as you can see I've, I've already completed the orange side and the red side and they're exact opposite of each other I guess there really is no right or wrong way to do it it's just my particular preference to get started you know get one side and then the opposite side and then work your way on another side like the blue or whatever and as you can see I got most of the blue finished here already so what I have to do now and, and it's quite simple and it's kind of hard for me to see here, but um, with the lighting. But um, I thought that these may have been blue, but they're actually yellow, white, and green. So I don't see any blue tiles in the center region on this face of the cube, okay? And then, so then, as you can tell, I've been building a row here. So I can see that, you know, this one belongs over here. And so then I'll have a complete row for my blue face side, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look on that side. And again, sometimes you can flip this around because if you know the face that you're gonna turn is that, it doesn't really matter. I'm just doing that so I don't have to worry about pushing it back into another position. But as you can tell, I mean, this cube is quite large. There's no way I don't think I could do this as a speed cube competition thing. In fact, I mean, while it's well constructed, it it, there, it does get loose and you have to square it up quite a, a bunch. So, as you can tell, the, the easiest thing to do is the blue uh, square is in that position. I need to rotate this over to the right like that and then move this piece up into that position. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move that piece up into that position and then I'm going to twist it that way. And then because, you know, the blue is up here, my, my blue line uh, that I shifted forward, I need to bring that back down, of course. And this is the same concept, whether you got the four by four, the five by five, the six by six, the seven by seven, eight by eight, nine by nine, 11 by 11, it, it, this, portion is not unique to each size of cube. I mean, this is the same concept that I would use to attack this. You see, so now this already lined up. I'm gonna put that up in his home up there. And now I have a blue side completed. So as you can tell, now I have the red side, the orange side, and now the blue side, obviously. So next, what I like trying to do is tackle the yellow side. And again, like I said, I, I want to get like the, the center one started. And again, I don't think there's any particular order or, or that's just my particular preference is I try to look on the other face. 
See, oh, there's a yellow one. And so I'm going to see how I can fit that into the center scheme there. It looks like there's a missing one in that position. So I'm gonna rotate that around. I'm going to bring this yellow square up into position. And then I'll bring that back down. I'll twist it out of the way. Cause as you notice, I've shifted up my blue piece to the next side. I wanna bring that back down so it's nice and congruent there. And so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep matching and finding until I get like a complete row, either whatever the easiest way is. Looks like, I don't know. Um, and I have some more yellows down here. So I think what I can do is size the situation up here. And I have one, two, three, and one, two, three. About the same amount regardless of what, which way I go. So I need to get these two up from the bottom here that I see up to this top position. So I'm gonna flip these two groups around like that. And now I just have one uh, yellow square missing. So as you can tell though, I got my blues there. So I'm gonna move the top, those out of the way, and then I'm gonna return the blue back to their position on that face. So that way I'm always keeping it preserved, okay? And so um, now I got one white square. Now I need to fit one into that. I need to go hunting in a, in a general vicinity of where is the next yellow square on that particular row. And then it's like, where is the next middle yellow square? Oh, there's one. It's right there. So then I'm going to see how I can get that up. Now, where's my line? There it is. So then that second one in. And then there, oh, okay, well, there's another one. I don't care which one you get it from, but then that yellow square will line up perfectly with the center one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this, this row all the way around. And as you can tell, I have one yellow line, okay? But now you'll also notice I messed up part of the blue side. So again, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna turn this off to the side and I'm going to return the blue back to its position, okay? And so I think later what I'm gonna do is show you on the various sizes, once you get this down to two faces of, you know, see, I got a lot, way, lot further way to go. The next one I like working on is the yellow side and then the green side and the white side and stuff. And there's a technique that I learned from another uh, YouTube channel where they uh, show you the technique of uh, getting the centers. And um, it was actually from, I can't remember the guy's uh, name right off, but I'll, I'll put that out later. Um, there's a technique that he showed that works on any size cube for getting the last two centers. And, it, it, and you want to arrange it so that you're, you have, you know, two faces left, you know, on, not on opposite sides of each other, but on the top and then and the side face here. And so that's pretty much what I do here is, you know, I'll, I'll just build another row. I mean, it's really time consuming when you have a, a larger cube like this. It's probably a lot easier to show on a four by four, five by five or whatever. You know, you, you can build those rows a lot quicker than having to build seven, seven blocks at a time. You know, in fact, when I first got this cube about a week ago, it probably took me about a whole hour just to get the red side going. So, um, that's, you know, the plan of attack that I use for these cubes, uh, pretty much, you know, red and orange, blue, and then yellow. And then you're left with the last two colors and stuff to deal with. And I'll show you that in another video later.